Hey everyone, it's Rek here and inside of this video, I will show you how to fix FPS drops and boost FPS in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3. This will help you achieve more FPS and get lower latency overall in Fortnite after the new update. It will provide a fix for all of the stutters, hitches or lags that you might be experiencing in this new Season 3 of Fortnite. We are going to optimize Fortnite itself as well as the windows so that you can get much better performance and you should be able to see a noticeable increase in FPS and the overall smoothness of Fortnite after applying everything shown in this video. So now without any further ado, let's dive straight into today's video. So the very first thing that you're gonna be required to do is download the Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3 FPS pack. I have provided everything that you will need for this video inside of it so that your lazy ass doesn't have to do much work. All you need to do is go down into the description of this video, click on the link for my website and there should be a new post up at the top and you can go ahead and download it from there. So once the pack is downloaded, go ahead and right click on it and extract it using 7-zip, winner or whatever you want, it's really up to you. Once you have extracted it, go ahead and open it up and open up this folder. Now we're gonna be starting off by creating a system restore point because some of you without any brain cells mess up things and then they try to blame it on me. Therefore, I have provided a system restore point so that you can go ahead and restore to the point before applying this pack. So right click on it, go ahead and open it and once you're here, go into the configure, make sure that the turn on system protection is checked, set this to around 4 or 5%, hit OK and then go ahead and click on the drive C or where your windows is installed click on create and then you can go ahead and name it anything I'm gonna go ahead and name it a subscribe because a lot of you only watch my videos and don't even subscribe so yeah that's a reminder you create once the restore point is created hit close hit ok and now we can proceed with the other tweaks we're gonna be starting off with the windows settings so open these up and open up the 100% scaling now what this is going to do is open up the display settings and all you need to do is set the scale and layout to 100% for some weird reason you might experience some input delay if it's not set to 100% and there might be a little bit of decrease in performance as well so yeah make sure that this is set to 100% if you want the best performance and also make sure that your display resolution is set to your native resolution for me is 1080p so yeah you can close out of this then open up the turn game mode on now if it wasn't obvious from the name we're gonna be setting the game mode to on but we are also gonna go into the xbox game bar and make sure that this is turned off and also this is unchecked go ahead and close out of this open up the disable notifications and inside of here what you need to do is uncheck all of this and also make sure that the notifications are turned off that should be all inside of here you can close out of it open up the remove background apps and inside of here what you need to do is just go ahead and let apps run in the background make sure that this is turned off because otherwise these apps will keep running in the background even when you close them eating up resources this doesn't mean that you won't be able to access any of these apps it just means that it, they won't run without your permission in the background saving up resources and obviously helping you gain more fps and performance in the games then you can close out of this open up the minimal search response and basically what you need to do is go ahead and set this to off for the safe search and what else you need to do is is go ahead and turn off the history and also clear device search history then moving on to the searching windows just make sure that this is set to the classic and that should be all also just make sure that this is turned off it's really not that necessary anyways you can close out of this open up the remove startup apps and as the name implies just go ahead and disable all of the startup apps that you don't want now personally for me i do use the rain meter for aesthetics obviously i close it when i am gaming so that's why it's turned on but other than that just make sure that everything that you don't need is turned off this is going to not only help you decrease the boot up time but it will also help in the in-game performance so close out of this once that is done and open up the 7 mouse epp of 611 now once this opens up all you need to do is uncheck the enhanced pointer precision and make sure that this bar right here is on the sixth dot so go ahead and drag it all the way to the left then using the arrow keys on your keyboard move it to right five times so that would be one two three four five and now it's on the sixth bar if you didn't get that then make sure to go ahead and read a preschool math book regardless once you are done with this hit ok and that should be it now you can go ahead and open up the disable visual effects and all you need to do is go ahead and copy these settings also make sure that this is unchecked i just like to keep it on for the aesthetic purposes but uh, that's basically it there's nothing more to it just make sure that this is also turned off and then go ahead and copy all of these hit ok and that should be good also if anyone is thinking that why i'm not applying the settings ok basically means you apply the setting and you close the tab as 
as well yeah so once you're done with all of these go back then go ahead and open up the registry optimizations and inside of here we're gonna be applying these registry files one by one starting with the fix audio in fortnite it should help you fix any of the audio stutters or lags that you might be experiencing then the fortnite normal priority as the name implies it sets fortnite to normal priority giving you guys a much better increase in fps now i know a lot of people use high priority but i would highly recommend you to set it to normal and you should be able to see the difference yourself so go ahead and double click hit yes hit ok then the full screen optimizations it's going to disable all of the full screen optimizations and put fortnite in exclusive full screen giving you guys much higher fps then go ahead and apply the higher gpu priority for fortnite hit yes hit ok memory management optimizations same thing with the ping reduction registry and then the wake up all cores so once you have applied all of these you are good to go and you can go ahead and go back into the pack moving on to the number three and that is the gpu optimizations so open this up and the first thing that you need to do is download new gpu drivers for amd you are always good with the downloading the latest drivers however for nvidia there are some exceptions and if you want to know more about that then check out this video it should be up in the card and in the description as well in which i basically go over how to properly install nvidia drivers and what are the best nvidia drivers to use also the nv install here is also provided for the same purpose of installing the gpu drivers properly and you can find the full method on that video as for the gpu settings this is going to help you list all of the settings that you should be applying with some registry tweaks to apply as well so just go through all of these one by one i'm not gonna be going through all of these because it's going to take too much time and i have listed everything in so much detail just like this so there should be no problem following any of these uh, once you are done with all of the gpu optimizations at this point it's highly recommended that you go ahead and restart your pc and then come back to continue along with me so now assuming that you have restarted your pc we're gonna be going ahead and importing a power plan and that is my rec os power plan what you need to do first is apply this registry file hit yes hit ok and now you should be able to see this little battery icon alongside the request power plan .pow file if you don't just right click refresh and it should be there regardless what you need to do is just double click on it and it should import the power plan however in order to apply it you do need to open up the start menu and search for power go ahead and click on the edit power plan go into the power options and then under the show additional plans you should be able to see the rec os power plan all you need to do is just click on here and that's it that's all you need to do you can now close out of this and that's basically all good now you can go back into the pack once more and we're gonna be applying some of the batch optimizations uh, starting off with the block all telemetry just right click run it as administrator and this was created by everything tech and it properly guides you with everything that you need to do so if you would like to continue go ahead and type in yes press enter and telemetry was successfully blocked it's going to now exit so the credit for this one obviously goes to everything tech then moving on to clear dns cache it's going to improve the ping run it as administrator as well and once that is done you can go ahead and press any key to continue then moving on to deleting log files it's not only going to help you increase the performance but also increase your hard disk space this may take some time depending on the amount of log files you have so be patient and let it do its work so once the whole process is completed go ahead and run the delete temporary files it's going to do the same thing but with all of the temp files and then go ahead and disable hpet or high precision event timer run it as administrator press any to continue and it should help you with lowering the overall system latency now go back into the pack once more and we're gonna be going ahead and importing the best fortnite config file so open this up right click on it click on copy and then what you need to do is open up your start menu and search for run go ahead and open it up and once this run bar opens up what you need to do is type in the percentage local app data and then percentage once more so that's percentage local app data percentage hit ok and once inside of here what you need to do is find the fortnite so the f section and it should be right here so for me i have already renamed the fortnite game to fortnite game one but for you it should be something like this fortnite game folder and all you need to do is go ahead and right click on it rename and then just put one at the end of it and press enter once that is done all you need to do is go ahead and right click and paste the new fortnite game folder which is right here so now you have successfully imported the best fortnite config file and all you need to do is go ahead and launch your game and you should be all set then last but not least is the msi utility so just go ahead and right click on it and run it as administrator if you don't run it as administrator it's not going to work properly so make sure that you do that and i'm gonna be showing you guys how to properly use this utility now the first thing that you always want to see is that which devices under the supported modes say msi so for me it's my audio controller my graphics card my ethernet and the SATA controller as well as the other audio controllers so all you
you need to do is check the MSI box for all of the devices that support the MSI mode, specifically for your graphics card. And once you have done that, what you need to do is just go ahead and hit apply. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uncheck and check this, then go ahead and hit apply and that's all. Now I know a lot of people set the intra priority to high, but I would highly recommend you to just go ahead and leave it at undefined as this is what has worked the best for me and for a lot of people that I have been in contact with. So yeah, just go ahead and leave all of the priorities to undefined and only check the boxes for the MSI for those devices which do support MSI under the supported modes. Once you have done that, you can close out of this, you can even close out of the pack and delete it. But once more, you need to go ahead and restart your PC before doing anything else. So just go ahead and restart your PC and you should be able to see a huge, huge boost in the FPS in Fortnite as well as fixing any lags or stutters that you might be experiencing in this new Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3. Also, make sure to let me know if you're enjoying this season so far in the comments down below. And if you do have any questions, then leave them in there as well. And I will try my best to reply to every single one of you. Also, if you want to go ahead and get even more FPS and performance in Fortnite, then go ahead and check out this video right here. I know it says Season 2, but it works for Season 3 as well because these tweaks are related to Windows, not the game specifically itself. So you can go ahead and check that out as well. Yeah, click this video. Alright, see ya.